Okay, this video is a 1994 Sea Ray 250 Express Cruiser. This is the uh, top deck. Um, there's some storage that's on the sides here for like bimini poles and whatever. A couple storage areas. Yeah. This is the uh, captain's chair here. And another storage area right there. The throttle. And then the uh, gauges are all new when the engine was installed. The hour meter, the RPM gauge, the trim gauge, the speedometer, oil and temp and volts. Uh, the trim tabs work fine. There's a 12 volt accessory here with a cigarette lighter plug and a USB port. There's a USB port right here. It shows the voltage of the battery. There's a storage unit right below the wheel and it has the VHF radio. However, we don't use that one. We have a handheld that'll go with the boat. Uh, there's a little step there for your feet when you're driving. And this is the uh, left side lounge with the table with cup holders. The uh, hot water heater is right underneath this cushion. You can see the hot water heater down in there. And this platform actually converts into a more of a bed by this back piece right here laying down. And then that cushion that you see on the floor there goes down with the table goes down and then you have a full platform bed, which we'd never used. Uh, this is the entrance into the cabin. I installed this plexiglass for the air conditioner. I have the original piece that goes here with the boat. I didn't want to destroy that by putting in this air conditioner vent. So this is plexiglass and it seals right up against the cabin door. And there's a curtain there. And there's a curtain that goes right across this for privacy. The water supply tank is right there with the water supply pump, which I indicated that was in working, need to be replaced, which you can hook a garden hose up to the main unit too. So, of course it has a compass. The windshield folds out and locks. Also has a searchlight and the anchor's up there. And the anchor. Searchlight controls right here. And this is a cabin. It's the kitchen portion with the air conditioner that we bought. It has little cubby spaces, uh, AC power uh, for coffee pot or whatever. Right below the air conditioning unit is a stove that normally goes in that hole that you can see below the air conditioner. We have the stove, we just never used it. I took it out so that the air conditioner would fit in here. It fits right to the ceiling. And we have that, which will go with a boat. It's electric, it's an electric burner. So here's the kitchen sink. I installed a new Bluetooth radio. It's, uh, it's brand new, I just got it last year. And along with new speakers. There's, one, there's a left and a right on the outside. There is two speaker uh, 
outlets in the front cabin which are not hooked up. So this is the uh, compartment where the bed is. Uh, it's enough room for two people. I have a TV installed right here. You could hook up a uh, satellite or antenna ears or hook it up to your phone. I installed two outlets for charging ports, which I used the circuit for the stove, which you just hook the stove back up. So on both sides, there's outlets for charging. And you have like storage on, on both sides of the bed, as you can see. Uh, it has three port windows in the cabin. One, two, three. There is a cupboard right here behind the TV for like coats and whatnot. There's two hangers and there's storage that goes below that. It's pretty deep storage. There's interior lights. There's a couple of them down here that which are 12 volt. This is the refrigerator. It is operating. It is 110. Uh, big enough for beverages, food, whatever. It works fine. As well as the ice area. Bathroom. Bathroom has a small toilet. It is a self-contained unit. It does have a pump out on the outside. The bottom portion of the toilet is the uh, is the tank and right here is the flush. Uh, it does have a sink that works and you can convert that and it has a shower hookup if you'd like to use the shower. It has one of these shower curtains that come down and a pump out which pumps out on the bottom of the floor for a shower. Also has lights, part window, and that's about it for the bathroom. There's a hook there. Uh, there's a drain right there in one of the steps. As I told you, there's no bottom bilge pump in the forward bilge. It doesn't really need it. Um, this is the bimini top. It's not a full bimini top. It's it's enough to cover when you're traveling on the water. Uh, let's, let's open up the engine compartment. Here's the Merc Cruiser 7.4. New motor, two years ago. Replaced a. Uh, 5.7, this is a 7.4 liter, 454 cubic inch. Does have a swim platform with a ski hook for the rope and a folding ladder. Just stop it and then go. 